everyone, welcome to Fatima's Art Show. Today I'm going to be doing a beginner's episode for oil pastels. And here I've got a pack of oil pastels. And um, this is a pack of 50, so there's 50 sticks of oil pastels inside. You can also get a smaller pack if you want, if you're just starting out. But of course you'll have a limited range of colours to use if you get a smaller pack. Now today I'm going to be covering the different techniques to use when using oil pastels and also blending options. I hope you enjoy this episode. Let's get started. So we've got my oil pastels, I've got my paper. You can use, use any sort of paper you want. Obviously the thicker the better. But here I'm just using copy paper just because I want to show you that you can create beautiful, amazing art pieces and lovely techniques just by using normal paper. So you just want to start off by dividing sections of your paper. This is great if you want to try out different techniques. You can just do it like that. So I've just folded my paper now and I'm opening it up. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces and I'm ready to go. So the first one I want to show you is a light uh, pressure. So using um, the oil pastels, pressing very lightly, not very hard. So pressure. I'm going to show you hard pressure. So you just want to press really hard. high pressure. I'm going to use a technique called stripling which is just like creating dots so I'm just going to be creating a bit like pointillism so it is kind of pointillism because you're just creating lots of lovely little dots and that's going to be making the art piece. Stripling. Now for the fourth one scrumbling and scrumbling is a bit like your scribbling this one is called feathering so you're just creating lines this technique is called hatching crisscross lines In this one I'm going to be doing etching. Now with etching it's good to start with a light colour to begin with so you just want to go um, light. So here I've just used a yellow and maybe some peach in there as well as the first kind of base um, colour. Then on the top I want to put a dark colour, so here I've got a navy and I've got a black. So I'm going to just place um, the navy on the top. And with etching you can use the end of a paper clip um, to kind of scratch the surface. Or you can even use a scratch tool or anything really, even just a large lollipop stick or a small lollipop stick. So I'm going to show you um, what that does. So with the lollipop stick you can see the big lines it's creating and you can just draw your image and with the paper clip I get a kind of smaller sort of um, scratch on the surface. With this which I usually use for um, my liner printing this just scratches the surface. So with this one I just want to show you that you can use the tip side of your um, oil pastel so you can use the tip to create some lines. You can also use the side so you can kind of use the side to create kind of a thicker sort of look. Once of course um, you've used your pastel a bit more you have a bit more showing so you can just kind of rub it across the page. With this one, I've kind of already written it out. Um, I'm just going to show you um, how to blend. So I'm just going to cover different ways you can blend your oil pastels. So here I'm using a light pressure blend. So I'm using my pastels and I'm creating a very light touch just as I did. 
and then you can use um, a sponge to blend you can use something like this you can use absolutely anything even some kitchen towel you can just roll it up and you can just um, use it but I just prefer to use my hand so I'm just gonna be mixing the colors with my hand I just realized that I wrote high instead of hard but I really mean hard and you can almost um, overlap it but I don't recommend you do that because then you'll get colors mixed up into um, the next um, pastel and then I'm just going to be using my fingers to blend the colors together and it kind of creates a lovely purple um, you'll get your hands really messy with this so maybe have some baby wipes next to you and you can wipe your hand now I'm going to show you how to create a tint and forgive me for all the little stains that I've said you can just um, if you're making an art piece you can just put a paper towel to avoid damage to the rest of your piece um, so for the for creating a tint um, what do you want to do so let me just use I'll stick to my red I'll um, put some red here and then I'm going to um, add some white and so it goes from from red to white and it um, blends in nicely if you're using white paper you can just um, you don't have to use white you can just put the red and then slowly just kind of blend it so that it slowly um, disappears so how do you create a shadow to create a shadow you take um, so I'm creating some red again so I've put some red here and this time you want to use some black so you get some black and you want to put it on the side just like that and then you just blend it in now oh, here's an idea you can mix primary colors to create um, a lovely blend so here I've got red and yellow and in the middle it will become orange because red and yellow creates orange and I'm just doing a hard pressure blend just because I want to show you a bit more clearly oh it looks like this one had some red so it's already kind of blended in anyway so you just want to put some yellow on the side here and then in the middle you want to just blend it and it's going to create a lovely orangey there you go see how lovely that is you get the orange so you get the yellow orange and then red so the, or the orange just pops out of nowhere and then I'm doing the same thing with the blue because blue and yellow makes green and I'm taking some blue and I'm putting some blue on this side I'm going to use my thumb and I'm just going to oh it has some red already so that's not very good um, be aware that if you if you've mixed with other colors it will change so because I already had some red on my thumb it's made it a bit brownie but really it should just be green so I'm just going to do that again because that's what's happened and I want to show you the green color rather than the brown color so you've got a nice green so you've got from yellow to green to blue see that and like I said because I had the red it's kind of turned a bit brownie but really it's blue green and yellow and yellow orange and red this is just an idea we could have fun and we can just mix random colors so um, I'm just gonna mix lots of random colors so let's just get some blue let's just go crazy and put some red let's put some pink let's just have fun and just mix all these different colors okay so here's just a mixture it's like a big fat mixture of colors and now I'm just gonna mix all the colors together here you can use um, some baby oil turpentine or even just water to blend the colors together today I'm using some water and I'm just gonna be putting some colors alongside each other I'll show you what happens when you decide to add some water so I'm adding some water so I didn't feel that the water did anything really didn't help blend the colors together and actually because I was using copy paper 
um, it's not ideal for adding water um, so it's very very light so I'm going to use some hair oil and I'm just going to put some colors I'm just using my hair oil and I'm just putting some oil on that and then I'm just kind of going to try to see if it blends it You can even see, look. Look at that, it's like you're painting, it transforms into paint. Blend. So I'm just gonna go over all the different techniques I've shown you today. So we've got low pressure and we've got high pressure. Or you can call it hard pressure because it's quite hard, you're pressing hard. And here you're pressing kind of soft, so you could also call this soft pressure. Then we've got a stripling, or you can call it pointillism because you're creating lots of dots onto the surface. This is scrambling, it's like you're scribbling. Feathering, you're just creating lines. I've got hatching, you're creating a sort of a crisscross lines. We've got etching, you put the light color, then the dark color, then you, you kind of use your um, different tools to carve. Here I just wanted to show you that you can use your tip side or you can roll the pastel across the page. Now with the blending you can do a light blend. Well I call it high or hard, I kind of scribbled it out but yeah you're just kind of um, doing the hard pressure and then you're just blending. Here I'm creating a tint so I'm putting white and then a dark colour and I'm just blending it that way. Here I'm creating a shadow, I'm using the black and I'm using the red and I'm blending it to create a shadow. Here we're mixing colours, so we've got the red and yellow and in the middle they meet and they make orange and here you've got the blue and the yellow and in the middle they meet to create green. Here you can go a bit random and I've mixed lots of different colours and I've blended them together. Here I tried to use water but it didn't work so well. If it works well for you, please let me know in the comment section. Now, what I loved, my daughter just passed me the lovely blending piece of paper and with this one I used baby oil or you can use hair oil and you can actually, I used hair oil but you can use baby oil and it almost makes it like paint and it's lovely and I've just written with it here. So yeah, I just wanted to go over them so I hope you enjoyed looking at all the different techniques and different things you can do with oil pastels. Thank you very much for watching and really I just want to finish off by saying just experiment and enjoy using the oil pastels. You might just want to start off by placing some fruit on a table and then just using the oil pastels and just experimenting with the different techniques and working out what technique works best for you. I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching once again. Take care. Bye bye.